everyone welcome to our channel holly job trend subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for the latest update today we're going to start with your cbnst class and that is in the classes your 26th class of the session here in the last 25 classes we had started with unit one in that uh, that has been the unit one we have your computer arithmetic errors and rules of equation that we even the had completed where we had completed the second method bisection method newton epsilon method regular fasci method iterative method and many more we had done and uh, then a by itself method as well in unit 2 we had started with the last uh, classes last two classes in uh, that that's the name of the unit is your interpolations and curvetting where we had done your lagrangian formula and uh, we even though had started with uh, the uh, which has been the division uh, you know uh, that has been uh, divided a uh, newton uh, differential uh, uh, formulas we had done as well so we'll do the same and we had uh, even implemented uh, those question as well for those uh, formulas for the partial fraction now we have another question that has been using Lagrange formula find a polynomial that satisfied p of uh, 1 equals to 1 p of 3 equals to 27 and p of 4 equals to 64 and hence evaluate p of 2 so the question is using Lagrange's formula find a polynomial that satisfies p of 1 equals to 1 p of 3 equals to 27 and p of 4 equals to 64 and hence evaluate P of 2 that we have to find out so we go ahead for the same so let us write the given data that to be as follows and we made a table for it which has been as follows that is for x and y equals to fx which is equals to p of x then here is x0 is equals to 1 which is y0 equals to 1 x1 equals to 3 y1 equals to 27 x2 is equals to 4 and y2 is equals to 64 so we'll implement that so here n equals to 3 for the Lagrange interpolation formula that will solve it out so we go ahead for the detail about it which is yr equals to xr minus x1 xr minus x2 all upon x0 minus x1 and x0 minus x2 y0 plus xr minus x0 xr minus x2 on x1 minus x0 and x1 minus x2 y1 plus xr minus x0 xr minus x1 that we have here for the next we go ahead for the denominator here which is for the same x2 is minus x1 x0 and x2 minus x1 Putting the values in this, we'll get yr equals to xr minus 3, xr minus 4, all upon 1 minus 3, 1 minus 4, 1, plus xr minus 1, xr minus 4, upon 3 minus 1, and 3 minus 4. 27 multiplied plus xr minus 1 xr minus 3 upon 4 minus 1 and 4 minus 3 for so that it will be multiplied here which is by 64 on simplifying the above we get yr equals to 8 xr square minus 19 xr plus 12 
so this has been the required quadratic polynomial that is passing through the given uh, that points that to obtain p of 2 we have to put xr equals to 2 in the above equation when put the value we'll get yr equals to that has been p of 2 8 2 square which is equals to that has been the minus 19 multiply to plus 12 that is equals to 6 that we have now we go ahead for the newton's difference interpolation method which we are using here and that has been of course the important one of course so we go ahead for the same so certain uh, corresponding values of x and log 10x that are will be given and that we'll start discussing about the same newton's divided difference interpolation method so we'll implement that In the same case uh, for this we talk about it we, as I told uh, uh, given you the question the uh, formulas for Newton's divided interpolation method in the first class of this unit or two you can go ahead we'll find it out the formula there as well so we'll implement that and that we get the question we have here is certain corresponding values of x and log 10 x are 302.47771 and 304 2.4829 305 2.4841 and 307 2.4871 find log 10 equal to 310 by 11 that we have so here the function will go ahead for the same so the function we get y equals to log 10 x so the values of x and y that are to be given in the tabular uh, form that will be discussed here we will make a table for it So here for the x and therefore y that is being equals to log 10x so here x 0 is equals to 300 and y 0 equals to 2.4771 x 1 equals to 304 y 1 equals to 2.4829 x 2 equals to 305 and y2 equals to 2.4843 x3 equals to 307 and y3 equals to 2.4871 now for the same here we observe that x2 minus x1 is not does not equal to x1 minus x0 so that uh, that is why the values of x are not equal raised and therefore we use newton's dividing differences formulas let's uh, you know uh, pro uh, that uh, properly divided uh, differences table for this table we we'll made it and for the same we'll first find it out which has been y x1 comma x0 equals to y1 minus y0 upon x1 minus x0 equals to 2.4 839 minus 2.4771 upon 304 minus 300 will give you 0.00145 now for the next we go ahead that is what we have to discuss here is your for y x2 x1 that is being for y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 which is equals to 2.4843 minus 2.4829 upon 305 minus 304 which is equals to 0 0.0014 
now for y equals to x3 x2 equals to y3 minus y2 upon x3 minus x2 which is equals to 2.4871 minus uh, 2.4843 upon that has been 307 minus 305 equals to 0 0.0014 now we go ahead for now let us calculate the second order divided differences formulas that we have discussed here in the detail about it and uh, for the same it will be would like y x2 x1 x0 equals to y x2 x1 minus y x1 x0 upon x2 minus x0 which is equals to 0 0.0014 minus 0 0.00145 upon 305 minus 300 is equals to 0 minus 0 0.00001 that what we have to discuss about it and now we'll go ahead further which is being y x3 x2 x1 equals to y x3 x2 minus y x2 x1 x1 upon x2 minus x1 equals to 0 0.0014 minus 0 0.0014 upon 307 minus 304 equals to 0 now let us calculate the third order divided differences formula which we have to discuss about it that has been y x3 x2 x1 x0 y x3 x2 x1 minus y x2 x1 x0 upon x3 minus x0 will give you 0 plus 0 0.00001 upon 307 minus 300 it will give you the value 1.4286 into 10 to the power minus 6 that we have and all these divided differences are tabulated in the given uh, table that will discuss about it and that will be formed of course and uh, which will go ahead so we made a table for it for value of x then y equals to log 10x y x in y x in x in minus 1 x in minus 2 and then another we have y x in x in minus 1 x in minus 2 and x in minus 3 so we go ahead for the same and that what we made it for it so for the same we go ahead and when x0 is equals to 300 that is being x0 is equals to uh, 300 we go ahead and y0 is equals to 2.4771 mm -hmm. and we are, if for this that has been a y x1 y x0 equals to 0 0.00145 for another one that has been x1 equals to 304 the y1 equals to that we have is your 2.4829 and y x1 x2 x1 and x0 is equals to 0 0.00001 now we go ahead further we made a table a for this for the further it will be here we have so 
for the same we go ahead for x for y then y of n then another one and lastly so we had done for the that uh, we'll do it here which is for y x2 to x1 equals to 0 0.0014 that is for x1 when we go and solve it out and that has been y x3 x2 x1 x0 which is equals to 1.4286 into 10 to the power minus 6 now we will go ahead for x2 which is equals to 305 y2 is equals to we go ahead for the same that is for y2 which is equals to 2.4843 there y x3 x2 x1 equals to 0 this is for y x3 x2 equals to 0 0.0014 and this is for x3 equals to 307 and y3 equals to 2.4871 that we have this has been the divided differences uh, that we have to talk about it now further go ahead we have to find out for log 10 or uh, 301 which has been important one for you so for the same we go ahead and that we have to find out for yr which has been the yr equals to uh, which is your log 10x and xr equals to 301 newtons divided differences that is to be given in the following equation we made the equation here that is being the yr equals to y0 plus xr minus x0 y x1 x0 and plus xr minus x0 xr minus x1 y x2 y x1 and x0 plus x r minus x zero x r minus x one x r minus x two y x three x two x one x zero plus we'll put the value for the divided differences for x r and x in the above uh, formula that we'll have uh, and we'll have to get the value as well so we go ahead for the same and that will do it so here we go ahead which has been y r equals to root 4 7 7 1 um, plus 301 minus 300 uh, 0 0.00145 plus 301 minus 300 301 minus 304 and then we have minus 0 0.0001 plus 301 minus 300 301 minus 304 301 minus 305 and 1.4286 uh, into 10 to the power minus 6 which is equals to 2.4785971 so that's the value of y equals to log 10x at x is equals to 301 will be 2.4785971 that we have and now we'll further continue with the next coming classes that we have to discuss about it so we go ahead with another question that we talk about that has been the another question here which has been the following
so here we go ahead and that will talk about it for uh, the following theta for the following data find the polynomial fx which passes through all the points where x and fx minus 1 3 0 minus 6 3 39 6 8 22 and 7 1 6 11 so we use the divided differences since the value of x are not equally spaced the divided differences table that we made it here that is for the same x y equals to f x y x n x n minus 1 y x n x n minus 1 x n minus 2 y x n xn minus 1 xn minus 2 and xn minus 3 and y xn xn minus 1 till xn so we go ahead for the same that we have So for the same we go ahead, we put the value for the same, that is for minus 1, 3, then minus 9, this is for 0, minus 6, then we have 6 again, here it has been 15, 5, and then for the next we have here 3, 39, 41, and 1 then we have your 261 13 then 6 8 22 132 1611 1, that we have from this equation you can just divide the differences interpolations that to be given as here which we have to even to talk about it so that has been we lose it that here y r equals to y0 plus x r minus x0 y x1 x0 plus x r minus x0 x r minus x1 y x2 x1 x0 plus x r minus x0 x r minus x1 x r minus x2 y x3 x2 x1 x0 plus putting the values of the divided differences for the x about the formula that we have we'll have the value we'll put it y r equals to 3 plus x r plus 1 minus 9 plus x r x r plus 1 multiply 6 plus xr xr plus 1 xr minus 3 5 plus xr xr plus 1 xr minus 3 xr minus 6 and 1 for that xr 4 minus 3 xr 3 plus 5 xr 2 minus 6 Replace the x r by x in the above equation, we get y equals to f x 
which is equals to x4 minus 3x cube plus 5x2 minus 6. This is the required polynomial and if you want y at x equals to 4, then put x equals to 4 in the above equation we get. We put the value f of 4 equals to 4 square, 4 to the power 4 minus uh, 3 to 4 cube plus 5 4 square minus 6 will give you 138 thus at x equals to 4 fx is equals to 138 that we have so here we're gonna end up with and it's a huge request to all the viewers to please go ahead with like share and subscribe our channel so that many and maximum people can get the information at once and even though you can also enjoy the video as well other than CBNST, yes, we had done your sociology and software engineering. Even though we had done your chemistry, we are in that. We had done your unit 1, unit 2, unit 3, unit 4, unit 5, unit 6, unit 7, unit 8, unit 9. Uh, with their conversions, logarithms and antilogs as well. On the same behalf of it, yes, we had done your ER diagram. We are dealing with uh, English vocabulary, even though we had uh, done your reasoning in that. We had done verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning. In verbal reasoning, we had done general mental ability in the logic reasoning and non-verbal reasoning. That is being we had done series and a logic classification. And in legal reasoning, matter image, water image, embedded figure, completions of incomplete patterns, figure matrix, paper folding, paper cutting, rule detection, grouping of identical figures. Cubes and dice, draw situation, constructions of squares and triangles, figure formation analysis here. That has been, we had uh, in quantitative aptitude, we had done in arithmetical ability, we had done operations on numbers, SCF and LCF of numbers, that's multifraction, simplification, square root and cube roots, problems on numbers, problems on ages, search and indices, percentage, and profit and loss that we had done. In the same case, we talk about CBNST where we had completed your unit 1, which is being the computer arithmetic errors and the rules of equation. Where in that, we had done your uh, floating point arithmetic machine, absecond round of error, chopping error, truncation error, associative and distributive law of the floating point arithmetic, inherent error, error propagation, numerical instability, rules of equation. We have to cover up the second math or neutral Raphson method. Fixed point iteration method for the simple rules and the derivatives of the rate of the conversions, that again acceleration of the conversions. Modified Newton Raphson method and a multiple root purge YT method for the polynomial and bi stroke method for the quadratic factor and computer algorithm of these methods as well. In terms of unit 2, which has been the interpolation and coverting, we have to cover up that algorithm and the error analysis of Lagrangian, the Newton's divided differences, interpolations, relationship in the various differences operator, piecewise linear interpolation, cubic spline interpolation. National spline, Chebyshev's polynomial approximation, and Lankov's economization of the power series. In coverting, we had covered up the linear and nonlinear least square approximation. Third, conditioning in the least square method, a gram scheme, its process of organization, computer algorithm of least square coverting. In unit third, we had covered up your there has been differentiation and integration. We had covered up the method based on interpolations and the finite differential error charts and extrapolations here. We had covered up in integration if I'm going ahead. That what we have to cover up here, which has been the error analysis of the trapezoidal and Simpson method, Newton, uh, that has been uh, the course integration method, Gaussian integration method, Gauss Legrande method, Lobato integration method, and uh, Radau integration method. Error terms in pertaining the integration method. In unit 4, we have to cover up the solution of simultaneous linear algebraic equation. We have to cover up the Gauss elimination method, condition system, condition number, successive, and our relaxing method, bust, uh, rate of conversion, solutions of ordinary differential equation where the single step method on Gikuta, second order, third order, and a four order method, multiple step method, as well as predictor critic method as well statistical technique we had covered up the statistical hypothesis steps of hypothesis type of steps to errors level of significance test involving the normal distribution as well so here we're gonna end up with a huge request to all the viewers to please go ahead with like share and subscribe our channel so that many and maximum people can get the information at once and even though you can also enjoy the video as well thank you hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up and give a suggestion on a comment box thank you